Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. If you are new, welcome. If not, what's good? What's popping? So today I'm doing a review video. As you can see, my hair is huge. It's in a blowout state. I'm feeling like Diana Ross. Yes, honey. I'm loving how big my hair is right now. I wish I could just like walk out the door like this. Which I can, but I'm about to, you know, do something to it. So today I'm actually reviewing a steam straightener. A lot of you guys, you know, really wanted me to review a steam straightener. So I'm finally getting around to it. And the crazy thing is they actually used steam straighteners back in the day. But instead of it actually having like a steam pod, like an actual pod, you literally pour water into the straightener right here and you would straighten your hair like that. But it didn't really work out for me. It didn't work in my hair, but you know, technology has improved. So we're going to hope and pray for the best. I want to shout out L'Oreal for sending me their steam pod. Thank you for sponsoring this video as well. But of course, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinions. Of course I am. Okay. So yeah, they actually sent me their steam pod generation two and it looks like this. It's white, it's clean, it's sleek. And the strainer is also attached to the steam pod, which is right here. And it also does have suction cups at the bottom of it. So once you place it on a table, it's not gonna move. Then we had to pull this off the table to get it off. So this ain't going nowhere. Um, the water is not gonna spill all over you. So before we get into this, you know, review or tutorial, let's see what this steam pod claims to do. So it says, up to 50% smoother steam styling versus regular straightener and it also says three days of shiny frizz free hair it does go up to 210 degrees celsius which i think is about 410 degrees fahrenheit which i'm not quite sure if that's going to work for me because i usually at least do 420 degrees of heat so i don't know we're gonna see but another thing i do like is that it comes with like a comb on it which is very interesting because you guys know if you follow my straight hair routines that I do do the chase method when I straighten my hair so to have like a rat tail comb attached to this I think is pretty cool and interesting it might cut down my time or just be a lot more convenient and easy for me okay so let's turn this bad boy on Ooh, it lit up. I don't know if you guys can see it. It might be too bright. And we're going to put it to 410 degrees. It's already getting hot already. But before I blow dried on damp hair, I did use the Steam Pod Pro Keratin Double Action Cream. And this is for thick hair. They also have one for thin hair as well. And now I'm going to go in with their Steam Pod Serum. And this is supposed to protect your hair, obviously, from like heat damage and all of that. So I'm going to go in with this serum. Just put a little bit of that in my hands and rub it throughout my hair. You guys know that I use the Chi Silk Infusion like all the time, but I really want to see how their own products are going to work with their own straightener. And I don't even have the Chi right now. It's at home in Toronto. So we just going to work with this. This smells really, really good. Mmm, smells good. All right, so I sectioned my hair off into a small section and I'm just going to brush it out. This thing is so cool. Like once I press down on it, you're gonna see steam come out and it's gonna make a sound. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but I can hear it. Hear that? Okay, there, there it is. I can feel it. See the steam? I don't know if you guys can see the steam. I can see the steam. It's so cool. I'm impressed. My hair does feel actually really soft after that one pass through. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Do you guys see that? So this is how my hair looks after doing that pass through. I can see the shine on it. I'm really impressed with this. 
this is hella convenient because I don't need to do the chase method so yeah I want to make sure that when you're using this you are going in a steady pace you don't want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow so yeah you just want to find that right balance all right y'all so i just finished this side and my hair feels amazing it can move and all of that so yeah can you guys see a little bit of shine or whatever so let's actually see how straight this steam pod got my hair we are just gonna do a comparison of how my hair looked before when it was blow dried and after it's been straightened. So as you can see, it got my hair pretty, pretty straight with not a lot of frizz, like look at my ends. Wow. So far, I'm really, really liking the results from this to this, like you cannot go wrong in under 20 minutes. Yeah, fam. Okay guys, so I just finished my hair and these are the results. My hair is super, super soft. I really like how light and airy it feels, but let's just hop right into my final thoughts. So let me just start with the pros of the steam pod. First of all, I really, really, really love the little comb attachment that it has on it because you guys know that I do do the chase method where I have like the comb and the straightener and I go shh. And that's kind of annoying. So this is really convenient and it makes things just so much easier. But you do have to hold it the right way because at certain times I was holding it totally wrong and it was like snagging at my hair. So you have to make sure that the back part is facing outwards and the logo section over here is facing you. And then you just go like this. If you do it the other way around, it's gonna snag at your hair and it's gonna rip your hair out. Cause I was wondering, I was like, what the hell is happening? And then I realized I was doing it totally wrong. And another thing I really did like was the steam aspect of this because I feel like it's a lot healthier for my hair and I feel like that's what made it a lot softer as well compared to the flat iron where it's the smoke coming out because of the heat and the product mixture and that honestly like makes me cough and everything. Overall, I feel like this is healthier for my hair. But let's hop into the things that I wasn't so keen on. First thing being is the weight of this. I feel like this is like super heavy for a flat iron and by the middle of my hair, you know, midway, I was just like, Ugh. I was tired, like my arms are tired, I don't want to do this anymore. But your girl got some muscles from it, just a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm playing. And then the last thing I think would be the temperature. It only goes up to 410 and for me to get my hair the way that I want it to be, like bone straight, it needs to at least be at 420, it's not higher than that. So I feel like my hair isn't as bone straight as it would be if I did it with a regular flat iron. That's just my personal opinion. I do like how my hair looks. I like the fullness of it. But when I straighten my hair, I like to straighten my hair. And I want sleek, bone straight because I do wear it for a long period of time. And that's just the look that I go for. And I feel like this just gave me a little bit more volume and fluff, which there's nothing wrong with that, especially if that's the look you're going for. But I also feel like if you have thicker hair than me, then I don't feel like this is gonna, you know, straighten your hair that well. It's gonna give you more of like a blowout look. I just wish that they just bumped up the temperature a little bit to 450, just so you have that option. But other than that, I do really like my hair. It's so, so soft. Softer than how it usually is with a flat iron. 
So that's the number one thing that I noticed right off the bat and it just feels amazing. I just wanna rake my hands through my hair. It just feels so good. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have to say on my experience with this product. If you guys are interested in trying out the Steam Pod, I will leave a link down below. Let me know if you are gonna decide to try this out. And if you have any more questions, definitely leave it down below and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Deuces.